do this. I, don't, I think the world's smartest kid may have left, but this is really good news for he and his family. They can spend his college savings on a boat because our next guy is going to talk about how you may want to rethink college or just college itself should be rethought in general. And he has some ideas. Let's give it up for Jeff Mako. Good evening, Ignite Denver. I come here tonight and I ask the question, what if colleges were treated like a business? And I ask this question because I spent a ton of money and a ton of, my, uh, of my money and my time getting a degree that I've never used a day in my life. And if I treated that university like a college, I probably would have gotten pissed and I probably would have told someone about it. So for our conversation tonight, let's assume that the purpose for college is sex, drugs, rock and roll and a career. You pay them to train you to get a job. That's really important for this conversation. And when we look at college and look at why we do it from like a society perspective, it's go to high school, go to college, get a job, and your life is set, right? But I've got a ton of data here that that's not actually the case anymore. And we look at the underlying elements of college and education that actually started about a century ago when 80% of Americans were farmers. Today, only 3% are farmers. So why, did, why hasn't college changed? Why do we have summers off? It's like a year's worth of living expenses you just burn through. Why don't you just pound through college and get it done, right? So when we look about how we actually spend our time in college, this is true data here. 6.1 hours every day, on average, are spent sex, drugs, and rock and roll, as well as studying internships, etc. It's like 8,000 hours over four years just partying. I know it's fun, but why? Why, especially when the new price tag is $92,000 for a four-year degree? And that small number up there, it's a trillion dollars. That's the debt of everyone in America right now from college. A trillion. Think about that. Let's talk about some results. It's your metaphor. If you're a ninja and went to college, there's a one in three chance that one year after graduating you will still be living with your Asian parents because you'd be underemployed or unemployed. And they'd probably be saying, you should have done more math, right? Anyone like kittens? If 100 kittens went to college, 33 would finish and say, I don't think we're ready yet. Oh, yeah, right? And hiring managers, 60% of hiring managers say, college grads are definitely not ready to work. Here's another fun metaphor. Any unicorn fans out there? <laughs> Woohoo! Regrets, I've had a few. Half of unicorns that finished college regret we chose the wrong major, shouldn't have gone to college. Who's held accountable for that? Because colleges sure aren't. Because when I buy a house, 100% of the time, I want a roof over my head. When I buy a car, I want to get from point A to point B 100% of the time. When I want poker lessons, I don't want to just learn how to do poker two out of three times. I want to do it 100%. Right? So how is that fair that colleges do that? Here's some fun data. Every year, there's about 1.3 million new college grads. But there's 4 million open jobs right now today. Couldn't some of those fit another? And then the math, too, like 6.3% unemployment rate, like, it's just confusing. It really, really begs the question, what the fuck? Right? How, as Americans, as a world, do we continue to push young people through college, rack up hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt, and go, whoop, good luck? Right? How does that work? Think about it. If you were Apple, Microsoft, and Facebook, and you only lived your brand promise two out of three times, they'd be out of business. Now, anyone catch the fun fact? All the founders, they didn't graduate from college. Right? So looking a bit further, what can we do about this? Well, tell our young people, if you're going to spend a ton of money, it's $53,000 right now to go to DU. Take that money and travel the world. Try to figure out what you're trying to do in life before you hop into college, right? Here's another thing. Ask colleges more questions on the front end. The questions that I didn't ask. If I go to college, will I graduate? Will you help me get an internship? Will you help me, I don't know, maybe get a job? And if so, will I make enough to pay off all the debt that I've accumulated from buying your service? Those are all fair questions to ask. Maybe if you're into software, you do one of these software boot camps. I'm the CEO founder of SeedPaths. And in two months, we took a homeless high school dropout who's age 18 in about three weeks, he's going to make about 40 grand a year as a software developer. How cool is that? If you're entrepreneurial, again, 53 grand. Any startup friends? Imagine what you could do with 53 grand of cash. Don't go to DU for a year. Go start a business. You'll learn more in that one year than what you might in four years at DU. Or let's lean on some colleges. How cool would this be if they had a new brand promise on their website that said, we make employees. 
not enrichment, not have fun, not some smiley faces. We make employees, right? That would be pretty cool too. Looking further, if I'm in a business and I fail, people tweet about me, right? So here's one. Hey, University of Denver, I just spent a quarter of a million dollars getting a, a degree. The job that I got from you and your services won't cover my debt. How can you help me? Right? We should do more of that. So in conclusion, treat college like a business. Get pissed, tell the world, and help all the ninjas, the kittens, and the unicorns get an overall better return on their life.